mentioned a, a bit earlier that you do have business interests. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, are you co-owner, owner of any business? No, I, I had, uh, I, sh I should speak in the past since I had, um, I purchased a furniture refinishing business for my sons. Uh, it was there. They, they don't do any more. They kind of lost interest in it after 10, 10 years or so of dealing with chemicals and backbreaking work. They, they had enough of it. Uh, it was wood refinishing. We would take this table and strip it down and refinish it and so forth. They did nice work, but they got tired of it. Uh, I needed to have skills on the computer to handle that business. Um, I've had a de private detective license, which was part of my therapy, was to keep my mind active. I had the experience. I did manage the largest uh, detective agency in Northeast Pennsylvania way back when. And uh, we had 80 full-time employees. We had two patrol cars on, on patrol, radio dispatch 24 hours a day. Um, I had, had the experience. I did get a private detective license. Uh, I am a voice stress analyst uh, certified. I can do lie detector testing. Um, which, by the way, is a misnomer lie detector. It's really stress that we're looking for, but I do hold three certifications. But that was done mostly because my doctor suggested that I keep my mind going. That was what was going to allow me to recover because I, the problem I had, and I got off track, was that I, I lost my short-term memory. I didn't have a heart attack, I didn't have a stroke, but I lost my short-term memory. And it required a lot of mental gymnastics to get it back. Just if you lose your health, you're gonna have to start uh, doing some exercise I needed to do some mental gymnastics, so excuse me. So that's what I did. I, I found things that interested me, and I, and I went out. I hold three certifications in voice stress analysis. It's the newest format. Replace polygraph. Uh, I'm sure, you don't want to listen in that, but it's interesting. Is that, oh, was that Pennsylvania Adjusters Incorporated? Yes. And you're no longer. Uh, no, I own that. It's uh, I don't do anything with it. Uh, it's just a corporation that uh, I work with some of the police departments uh, doing. Uh, lie detector tests for them. I've had uh, several trained through my efforts, uh, Pittston Police uh, had a couple of guys trained, Exeter had a, an officer trained, and they're available for other police departments if they need them. Who are the co-owners of that? It was, just, it was mine. My wife is a, it's a corporation. Me and my, my wife is on it, but again, we're inactive. I, if you were to call me today to do some surveillance work or something. I'm really not interested in that. That, that to me, is mindless work. It's not, it's not doing any good for me uh, as far as doing mental gymnastics. I don't do it. I refer it off to another agency. 